Our mind is an incredible tool, but it's just that it's a tool. But most of us forget to be in control of that tool and we're run by it. And our mind starts to cycle and our mind keeps talking and thinking and worrying and being fearful, right? That's a big part of what our mind does. Our mind is here to protect us. That's what it does. It keeps us safe. It protects us. It makes sure that we survive. So it's always going to think of all the scenarios to keep you safe. And when we're not in control of that, that moves into a lot of fear. And that fear can block us and limit us and trap us from actually experiencing our lives and experiencing the opportunities that arrive for us to live into. So our heart is actually supposed to guide us in our lives. Our heart has the electric magnetic field that is 5,000 times stronger than our mind, 5,000 times stronger, and yet, we allow our mind to lead us. So what we have to do is we have to get our mind in alignment with our heart. So our heart is leading us forward in our lives and our mind is on board and our mind is creating in an inspired way because we're in our heart's field. So I know for myself that for a very long time, I used to be quite aggressive towards my mind. When I'd start running in these thought patterns and I couldn't get it to calm down, I'd be like, like, stop, like, what are you doing? Just stop, 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 stop thinking, whatever, right? <laughs> but that doesn't work because then we get more anxious and we get the mind going even more and it goes on and on and on and on. But instead, what we need to do is we need to be grateful for our mind because our mind is protecting us. Our mind is actually doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So if your mind is being fearful and it's running through all of the scenarios, it is rocking its job, but it's not it's not in control or it's not being controlled. It is in control. So what you have to do is you have to support and love your mind so that it can get in resonance with your heart. So what I actually do when my mind is going crazy, I will hold my head and I will tell my mind, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for keeping me safe. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for thinking of all of these scenarios, but I'm okay. I'm safe. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. And what I do when I do that is I slow down my mind and I allow my heart to come into control. I allow my heart to lead, my mind quiets, and it starts to be on board with whatever my heart is leading me towards. And I feel better because I just move myself into a great gratitude state, a state of gratitude, which is a beautiful frequency of love. It's love in action, it's love moving. So the next time your mind is running all over the place, give it a little love. Be thankful that it's doing its job and shift it back into alignment with your heart where you were meant to lead, where you were born to lead from. This limitless potential that our heart sees in the world. Keep your mind on board, but lead with your heart. That's how we change the world.